If men are women, then truth, science, and sanity are history. A new study reveals 74% of Generation Z embrace moral relativism. And Twitter censors another Christian organization for referring to a biological male as a male. Wait, there just might be a connection here between moral relativism and transgender ideology. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. So how are these two stories related? Children are taught to think that truth and facts change, and adults in the tech world think it's normal to be born one gender and then to change to the other. You'll be canceled if you affirm the opposite. Young adults now believe truth can change, and so can the meaning of what a man is and what a woman is, and they think children can now choose their gender. Social media giants, such as Twitter, are suspending the accounts of those who simply state biological facts about gender. Talk about being anti-biology. This is called redefining truth. There's even a good book on the topic, if I can remember right. So remove God as creator of all things, deny scientific realities of male and female, redefine natural marriage and family, and remove moral absolutes. And guess what? Anything goes. It should be alarming to us, 74% of young adults, down to 12 years old, at least somewhat agree with the notion that what is, quote, morally right and wrong changes over time based on society, not based on any fixed laws or truth, but on current trends and pop culture. By this reasoning, if God's laws now change along with right and wrong, then throw out the Ten Commandments. Wait, they already did that in the 1960s, sorry. Uh, thank you, government-run schools, for contributing to the decay and moral decline of our society. Because of the deception of this gender surrender, it makes sense that when these kids grow up and work at these Democrat-run social media companies, they're going to go after those who disagree with their warped worldview. So Twitter suspended the account of a Christian-based family organization's magazine, The Daily Citizen. It's a publication of Focus on the Family. There's now a hashtag going around that simply asks, are we next? What was the offending tweet? It simply described President Biden's pick for his Secretary of Health in his administration, Rachel Levine. Dr. Levine is a transgender woman, that is, a man who believes he is a woman. Now, is that a true, a factual statement or not? Aside from what the Bible teaches about God creating them, male and female, and telling them to procreate, this is factually and biologically accurate. But Democrats always insist they follow the science, right? President of Focus on the Family, Jim Daly, responded, quote, as I've noted before, big tech titans are the new emperors of the 21st century, wielding an inordinate amount of power by silencing individuals and organizations that don't comport or cave to their political or social point of view. And by the way, Catholic World Report also got canceled for a similar statement that Twitter classified as hateful conduct. For saying a biological man identifies as a transgender woman, Big Tech will now punish you under their hate speech policy and a whole lot more to come under the Biden-Harris administration. Tell the truth and the Big Tech conglomerate will silence you. How's that for tolerance? This toxic environment has been spreading like a deadly virus for years. So none of this should really surprise us. Remember a quote by Abraham Lincoln? He said this, The philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. Today, the philosophy we've seen and the worldview in the schoolroom in one generation will be or is running government, Hollywood, media, corporations, and the big tech companies as well. The Bible warns about avoiding godless and worldly ideas. For example, Colossians 2.8 states, See to it that there is no one who takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception, 
in accordance with human tradition, in accordance with the elementary principles of the world, rather than in accordance with Christ. Christians, conservatives, freedom-loving Americans, stay rooted in the firm foundation of God's Word. Jesus is the truth. When big tech Democrats can shut down the speech of whoever they want for ridiculous reasons, and when an overwhelming majority of young people under 30 actually think morality, right and wrong, changes based on what's popular in society or how people feel, we're in serious trouble. When a nation's underpinnings are removed, confusion reigns, and people will suffer. I just hope they turn to the truth before it's too late. I'll leave you with Psalm 119, 160. It says this, All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. God bless you, and keep speaking the truth about things that matter. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Most of you know our show is being censored by big tech. While this makes it harder to meet the cost of producing the show, that's part of it. It also demonstrates that we must be having tremendous success or they wouldn't bother to try to shut us down. If you like hearing truth and common sense with a love for freedom, please join the Patriot Club with a one-time $99 tax-deductible donation. And you'll get this sweet vessel of joy as part of a thank you for joining the Patriot Club. Etched with the American flag and the words freedom never tasted so good. All you have to do is visit patriotclub.us and become a Patriot member today. That's patriotclub.us. Thank you and God bless.